G'day guys, it's Captain Carter and welcome back to another Cold Waters tutorial. Now today's tutorial is going to be on torpedoes and how best to use them against your enemy. Uh, so without any further ado, uh, grab yourself a drink, have a seat and join me aboard the USS Dallas for the duration of the tutorial. To take you through the weapons panel here. We're focusing on the torpedoes and the particular torpedo we're going to look at today is the Mark 48. Now I have had 20 of them. I've snapped one torpedo off at him so the number here is the amount of torpedoes currently stored. This is the amount of this is what's currently loaded so if you see a figure in any of these brackets that is a loaded weapon. Obviously, I've only got three torpedoes in the tube at the moment because I'm still controlling one of my my one Mark 48 that I fired via its control wire. Now, I'm very good. I'm going to very quickly change my heading. I am going to go due south. Come left to <clears throat> one eight zero helm I. And the reason I'm going to come due south is I want to get away from his torpedo, which at the moment I think is locked onto the moss. Yes, it is. It is heading towards the moss. Now, I obviously want it to go after the moss and not after me. That would be bad. Um, now, we are dealing with a strong duct and a strong layer at this point. I'm actually going to climb back up to 300 feet. Make depth three zero zero feet. Die by. Because I want to use that. I want to use that duct and that layer to my advantage as much as physically possible. Now, where is his torpedo? Where's mine and where's his? Mine's somewhere off in that general direction. His is also somewhere off in that general direction, but I can't see it yet. Right, so, your little panel that you have down here. This here is your weapon sensor. Now, it'll also, if you hover over it for long enough, it'll tell you what you can actually, what button to press in order to change it. So, when you see a little dot like this, that means the weapon is a passive a passive torpedo. That means it will not let out the usual, if you've ever watched a, a Navy, a submarine movie, um, you hear the pinging like when a torpedo is fired. That's the torpedo's active sonar. That's it actively hunting for a target. When it's in passive mode, it doesn't do that. It is depending entirely on the contact making enough noise for it to then lock on to. So at the moment, the torpedo that I fired is set to passive, a pad to passive sonar. What I can do, and I can guarantee you he's Con, not. Helm, um, steady course. He may very well be there. I hope he's not. <clears throat> what that's doing is it's only hunting on his sound alone. Obviously, the quieter the submarine, the harder it's going to be for the torpedo to actually find it. Especially if the surface conditions, at the moment, 78 decibels, fairly quiet. If, if the ambient noise is too loud, then a passive sonar torpedo is not going to find the target. It's just not going to have a hope in the world. So, what it's going to do, and the beauty thing is now he can't hear me because he's at flank speed and cavitating like all hell. I'm actually very, very tempted to launch a sea lance at him. Let's load a sea lance in ship four. Now, a sea lance, by the way, you won't have that in the base version of the game. I have a mod pack installed, which gives me the sea lance on this particular submarine. Um, very cool. We'll go into it another time. So, so the first one here is your weapons sensor. Um, if I click on it, it changes it to active sonar. That's where it goes ping, 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 and it actively searches. It actively hunts for the target. Your second one here is your weapon search pattern. Now you've got three, you've sometimes three, or usually three, if not four options. You'll have this, which is a zigzag fashion. So it will go, it'll go in a, you know, sort of a snake-like fashion. Um, you've got it going in a left circle. So that's what that'll do. It'll just go around in circles over and over again in a left-hand pattern. Then you've got a right-hand circle. 
Con. Dive at three zero zero feet. Dive by. Now, depending on the Con. submarine, torpedo room tube four ready. Depending on the submarine and the torpedo, you could also have an option for straight, which means obviously it will just go in a straight line continuously. Right, your last option you have is the weapon depth. Now, you've got three options here. You've got an arrow which goes, you know, sort of straight and level. You've got an arrow that goes up and an arrow that goes down. The straight and level means it will hold the same depth that it was fired at. So if you fire a torpedo at 500 feet, it is going to just plod along at 500 feet. And then its targeting cone will pretty much do the rest. If you've got it set to up, what this will do is this will actually skim just underneath the surface of the water, probably about you know 10 feet, and it will just zip along just underneath the surface. Um, very good for surface contacts or a submarine that you know 100% is above the layer or is near the surface and is going to stay near the surface. The closer it is to the surface, the better chance that, that particular torpedo has of hitting it. Do not see me. Okay, good news is it's going in a circular fashion. It's just going to do that over and over again. It's just going to hunt around in a circle. So, good news. That's why we changed our course because I didn't want to be anywhere near that silly thing. The last option is down. Now, this will set the weapon to go deep and it will just hunt at a far deep level. I may. I can't remember the exact depth that it hunts at or what the difference is, like if it's, if it's a, a minus X amount of feet below your current below the, your current depth. Um, and I'm sure that I'm, I'll probably find out when I'm editing this and I'll now have it emplazoned across the screen for you because I'm silly. Right, um, I really would like that torpedo uh, to go active right about now. So I'm going to quickly press activate torpedo And I'm just going to get it to continue in that straight pattern there. Now, so that's your three different settings for the Mark 48. If I take you to this panel here, this is your wire control. Now these torpedoes are smart torpedoes in the fact that they are connected between the, the boat, the submarine, and the torpedo via a very, very long wire. Um, again, I can't remember the exact length that the wire runs to. I'm sure I'm going to remember afterwards, or I'm sure I'm going to find out afterwards, so I will now have it placed across the screen for you again. What that does is it allows you to control the torpedo. Really, really cool and really, really sneaky. Um, unlike a dumb fire torpedo, which obviously just gets fired off in a direction that will just continue on that direction happily merrily until it runs out of juice, a, a wire-guided torpedo, you can steer towards the target. So if you know, if you've still got a positive firing solution on that target, then you know 100% that you can just control it and you watch, if you see the friggin', if you see the, the enemy submarine drop a decoy and then turn hard right and your torpedo zipping off to the left, you can go, ha ha, not so fast buddy, and you can steer that torpedo to its target. Now the keys you can use that is your numpad keys. So your 4 and your 6 key turns your torpedo to the port, which is left, so four, or to the starboard, which is right, and that's number six. You can also change the depth of your torpedo. And you can do that with eight and two. Now eight will push your torpedo to go down, it'll dive. Two will bring the torpedo up and it will um, rise to a new depth. Um, as I can demonstrate here, when I actually have the correct torpedo set, no, sorry, I can't control the height on this one. Isn't that great? Um, so everything I just said was a load of dust. Okay, so that's what it'll do. It'll go... Uh, shall I fire? Shall I do five eight? Huh, odd. Whatever. Okay, moving right along. So these three, these, these three panels here. The first one here, so shift four, will cut the wire between your torpedo and you. Once this is done, there is no going back. There is no pass code, no clock $200. The torpedo is on its own. Um, whatever you do, don't cross into the path of your own torpedo after you cut the wire. It will hurt significantly. Your second option here 
is to activate the torpedo. Now what this does is obviously what you saw me do just before with the torpedo is it will activate it. It will send it completely active and from that point onwards you can then control its you can then control the torpedo from there. There's my torpedo. Which assuming this guy's got his ears on, he shouldn't actually be able to hear it. So he can have his ears on as much as he likes, he's not gonna find that torpedo. Your last option here is to edit the waypoint or mouse zero, which I think pretty much is right mouse click. Right mouse click. Left mouse click. Center mouse click. I can't remember. Could be one of the many buttons I have on my mouse, I'm not too sure. I've never actually played with it. Nope. Nope, not that one either. Huh, that's well, one of them. Um, but obviously these controls may also vary for your um, for your setup. You might have it set to a different a different key a different key binding. So that there is your basic <coughs> pardon me. That there is your basic controls um, for your wire guided torpedoes. Um, over here you can press F to go to the next tube so that will change your tubes. Um, that'll change your selected tube. At the moment, I have tube two selected. So press F. It'll take me to tube three, tube four, back to tube one, tube two, so on and so forth. And then you've got load tube. So if I want to change the loadout in any one of these tubes, I can press R, and that will show me a little grayed out picture of what is actually of what is available or what I what wants me to load. Um, if I just leave it, it'll load that. If I press it again at any time it will change the loadout, it will stop loading and it will change to whatever you want to load into it. Um, and then spacebar fires the tube, pretty simple. Um, right, so that's that's pretty much about it for this tutorial to be quite honest, so there's not a great deal more I can cover on the Mark 48. Um, I'll leave a link below to, I don't know, probably a Wikipedia article on, on that particular torpedo and that will teach you all about the torpedo and itself. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Um, otherwise, I've been Captain Carter. Chuck a like at this video if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment as well, it's very, very helpful. And if you want to join me in, well, if you want to help me in ending the ending the scourge of the Red Fleet across the sea, uh, hit the subscribe button. It's a very, very cool button. It's big and it's red and it says subscribe on it. And it's got a nice little number next to it of how many. It's got a nice little picture right next to it of how many um how many subscribers we have. So anyway, I'm gonna let this torpedo weapon countermeasure homing. I'm gonna let this torpedo do its thing. Lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two seven three. Contact breaking up. Because it's it's done its thing. So Again, thank you very much for... Uh, 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 try that again, too. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Captain Carter. Remember to chuck a like at this video and subscribe as well for future videos. I will catch you guys later.